Another important uh, attribute um, or customizing step is defining the organization level maps. So role management uh, application uses uh, the organization level maps for role derivation, okay, for the derived roles. So in this customizing activity, what you do is you maintain the parent and the child organization maps to document your organizational hierarchy and structure. Okay, so let's execute this. And you click on new entries. So again, so what does organizational um, do, uh, mapping do? It basically, what it does is, it maintains uh, the parent and child organization maps to document your organizational structure. Okay, so let's click on, uh, let's enter your parent organizational map attribute from saying, let's say we are going to do it for uh, company code. Okay, so click on map and say company code bookers say 2000. Okay, so when you create uh, any uh, derived role for company code 2000, this you could use this mapping structure. Okay, so this is your parent leading uh, or uh, value and uh, or unit basically and then you can also define the remaining org levels uh, that are part so we have a couple of few rows that we created with these org levels so we have company code we have business area controlling area so we the company code is our leading org unit okay so we'll we'll not create for everything but uh, we'll use for our structure, we'll use a couple of these, okay? Some of these other org units. So what is the org level, right? So the org level field is bookers, B-U-K-R, which is company code. And this is for 2000. Okay. And the description you can say is company code 2000. Okay. Now save it, put it in a transport request. Now it will have the child units also, right? Org units also. So you can map these other org unit depending on what your organization structure is, okay? So you may not have a distribution channels because depending on what your customer does as a business, the customer businesses, uh, you may not have a plant, for example. You know, plants you normally have if you if it's a manufacturing company, right? Um, so, depending on what your nature of the business of your customer is, uh, your company is, your organization structure is going to vary. You know, it's you know going to be def desired and defined. So, depending on what your org structure is, you pick your uh, org units, okay? The parent org units, the, sorry, the child org units. So let's assume, you know, I'm going to select, now double click on org level mapping details. And here you specify the child org levels. Okay, what are those child org levels? Business area account and all that. Okay, now click on new entries. Okay, now what is the child org level? Let's say I want to use, uh, this is plans. Um, let's say I want to use VK group. Okay, let's say one, I would say 2000. So depending on what the, I think this is a purchasing group. Yeah, should be VK's purchasing, I think, or sales group, uh, which whatever it is. Uh, you specify the specific value for company code 2000. On save. 
go back click on new entries and now let's say what else do we have right so purchasing organization controlling area so okay this is a purchasing group purchasing organization so that was the sales group that we picked um, let's pick the sales arc sequence is two uh, let's again say 2000 save go back new entries uh, let's now pick On what do you have for uh, division? Mm. Okay, let's take this purchasing group and purchasing organization. And then we'll take a plant also. So three, and then again, if you say three thousand, two thousand, right? Just for making it easy. Okay. So, but you have to specify the values. Okay, which are specific to company code two thousand here in this case. Right now, click on new entries, and. Uh, Was that say two thousand and sequence is four? If you have a multiple, you know, purchasing organizations, you can put it in a range. Okay, so there is from and to field. Uh, let's now take the fifth one. And this time, let's take it as a plant. Now, when you create uh, the derived roles, right? SAP, the role maintenance gives you two options. So you can either use this mapping uh, or, or whatever the or whatever master role or levels the master role brings in you could uh, use those org units also. So it, it's a choice you have to make. Okay, so let's, uh, we have created five org units, one org unit, the parent org unit, and then you have the, you have five child org units within uh, the parent child, the parent org unit. So you assign these maps to the rows, so that you don't need to create separate maps for each rows. Okay, so now let's go and create another one. For example, uh, go back. So this is a company code 2000, right? So let's assume you have another company code, right? Uh, uh, so you can create another line of business or something, and you need to you want to create another one. So let's say bookers, and this time. Let's say 3,000. Okay, so another line of business is, let's say, it doesn't have uh, the purchasing organizations. So it simply has, it's a manufacturing unit, right? So manufacturing unit would need, um, okay, let's say company code from 3,000. and say company code double click on the org level mapping details and here you maintain the child org levels 
right, let's assume it's a manufacturing unit, manufacturing company, so it will definitely have a plant, right? So let's say one and let's say 3,000. Now, if there are going to be different plants, okay, which are the different plant codes, right, then you don't need to specify a value here. Okay, so the next I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, define some more. This time, let's say S works two. And I'm not going to assign a value here this time, okay? Save. So this is a basically maintenance plan and planning plan. That's what we are going to assign. So, so we did S works and that's where I work. Okay, this C, this sequence is three. Okay, now we created two organization mapping, correct? One with for company code 2000, and another is come for company code 3000. So you're basically, what you have done here is you have basically uh, documented your organization hierarchy and structure. Okay, when you define this uh, org level mapping, that is what you do. You are basic. Okay, so go back. You have two org level mappings now. So when you create the, diff, you know, uh, when you diff, create the roles, derived roles, you can, you get to choose which of this org map, mapping that you want to use. Okay. If at all you want to use this, any of these mappings. So if you are, you know, working on an organization that has multiple company codes or multiple business lines, lines of businesses, you might end up creating multiple org mapping for for each of those lines of businesses, right? So that is so this this is a place where you document your org structure for each of your uh, line line of business. Okay, so click on save. If it prompts you to, it's already saved. But first time when you hit save, it's going to prompt you for a transport request. So go back. Okay, so we have defined the org level mappings, which is basically used during uh, derived roles. Okay, now let's see what are the prerequisite types. 